Yo, what is going on guys? It is Boyden Peepkill as you know, and today what I have for you is a gameplay with the brand new Banshee DLC weapon. It is, it, I think it's a shotgun, but it doesn't really work like one as you'll see in this gameplay. The way this gun works is that basically it is a shotgun under, you know, that's its category, but when you fire it, the bullet will go directly forwards and fly, keep flying in a row, it, the bullet never stops, never drops, but it is quite slow, but it will just keep going forever as if it were a sniper in this game, obviously that's not how it works in real life, but who really cares about that, you know, when is, when a video game's realistic, man, come on now, but, um, yeah, so the bullet will just keep flying until it hits something, whether that be a person, or it flies out the map, or it just hits, like, a wall or something if you miss, obviously, but, um, yeah, I don't know why it's, it, why it's categorized as a shotgun it is definitely it's probably just because you know that was the idea they had they had that in mind they wanted to keep going with that and they'd already done a DLC sniper so they needed to do that um, I was hoping that if we got a DLC shotgun it would be something a little different to this but I guess this is cool too but anyway the Banshee it seems like an amazing idea it seems like it could basically be a second Argus but the only problem with it is that that shot that it does fire is very slow and um, using this weapon it does remind me quite a lot of the uh, NX Shadow Claw the way the gun works because basically the NX you fire it and then the uh, arrow dart whatever you want to call it that you fire out the uh, the shadow claw will then drop but that's not that's the only difference between the two I believe because this the bullet on the banshee does not stop but the, you know the bullet flies really slow so as you'll see in this game you have to kind of predict where the enemy is going to be you can't just simply aim at the person if they are standing still then obviously that works out for you but most of the time in this game you know considering the movement system people do try and stay on the move in the air so somewhere running or you know flying around so you have to kind of predict where their body's going to be and fire in front of people which is why you'll see me you know fire like two or three feet in front of the enemy and then I'll still get the kill because that enemy ends up running into that bullet because obviously they can't predict that you're going to shoot in front of where they're going to go because you know uh, they can't tell you're going to see the future you know that's like inception we're seeing the future it's crazy stuff but yeah that's how this gun works I am definitely not a fan of the gun I really don't like it that whole having to aim in front of people you know um, there's, it's basically the way the gun feels it feels like playing on bad connection to be honest because when you have a, a bad connection you're lagging or whatever you want to call it you know your everything's delayed you're behind the other players so you're having to fire in front of the enemy and predict where their body's gonna be in the time the you know in where it would be in real time if you weren't you know behind because of connection so that's how basically this gun feels you gotta fire in front of them obviously sometimes it does work when they're standing still and the same goes for if you have bad connection and um, you know I have had a lot of experience with playing with some bad connection quite a lot of the time so I guess that kind of gives me a little bit of an advantage using this gun but still definitely not my favorite I'd rather just use a gun where you know you can fire straight at people but it does spice the game up a little bit it does give the game you know a week where people have to go for the try and get the guns out of supply drops and then use the guns grind out for dark matter which is the main point of this video I did get the banshee well I didn't you know this is my buddy Kim's account as you'll see in the kill feed legend uh, so thanks to him for letting me use his account and getting this but basically um, he's got dark matter on it but it basically just gives people the fun of having one a new weapon to play around with two opening the supply drops three grinding out dark matter on it and doing all that cool stuff to uh, you know get to the point where I can get this gameplay um, but yeah, that was the main point, it is that the Banshee is, this is what it looks like with Dark Matter. I do not currently have Dark Matter on my own account. I've gotten it on countless other accounts, but I haven't managed to finish it on my own yet. That is something I'm definitely planning on doing very, very soon, because all I have left, I believe, is the two launches. Those are the two most painful, obviously, in my opinion. Um, but I'll get those done at some point so that I can, you know, start putting out gameplays with Dark Matter on the guns. Because I know a lot of you guys have been saying, oh, why don't you put camos on your guns in your gameplay? And the main reason for that really is that I just don't remember. I always forget to you know put the camos onto the gun because I have the camos I just never really put them on I don't see why it's so important but people really do want me to put camos on I guess if I had dark matter then I would put it on every time because you know it's a grind you grind for it I spent lots of time going for it and then you know you're proud of it and it's you just you know for a fact how bad it was going for that dark matter so you put it on because you're proud and I feel like if I did have that then I would go and do that and then people can't be you know mad that I haven't put dark matter on so that's something I'm definitely going to finish at some point, and I would try to put more camos on my gun um, in the future, because I know that's something people always ask for, because, you know, it just gives it that extra, it looks a little bit nicer, you know, uh, just having a gun that's, like, a little bit shiny, and new camos did just come out, I got uh, a couple of them, I'm going to be uploading a gameplay with the haptic camo, hopefully at some point, um, so, uh, yeah, that's basically how that went, um, 
But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys, you know, show off the gun a little bit. It's not the best in the game. It's not the worst, I wouldn't say. Uh, it is pretty fun to use, though. But the best way to use this weapon, I believe, is really just to get up close and personal. And in a place where you can really easily predict where they're going. So, for example, when you see me go into the building on this map, you know, you'll see the... Um, standing up in that top, but there's really only one way they can come from, which is the stairs, and, you know, if you turn around, they come, come in the other way, then they're gonna jump in the window, and you can pretty much predict where they're gonna be, um... And that makes it a little bit easier. So when people are coming up the stairs, you know, all I have to do is fire forwards and nine times out of ten, it's going to hit that person. It's when you start going for the more long-range engagements, obviously you can do that. Um, that things get a little bit di more difficult. If you're playing of a player of, of quite, um, of a higher skill level, you know, they're going to move around while they're uh, shooting. But, you know, there are players, um, for example, the one I got, the guy I killed at the beginning, who, you know, they have to stand still when they're firing at long range because aiming at long distance is obviously a little bit harder than uh, short distance. So, you know, you will get some easy kills like that, but I'm Majority of the time, the long distance battles will be more of a prediction of where the enemy's gonna be in that battle in a minute. And uh, to be honest, it's luck. That's one of the main things when getting kills with this gun. If you are going for a longer distance kill, just luck and hoping that they'll jump into that bullet and they'll make a mistake or they'll stand still for a second and that shot will eventually hit them. Um, but yeah, definitely best way to use this weapon is to get them in like a closed up area, such as the building on Redwood. Um, and another good map for I found for the Banshee was Combine. Combine was really good. There's many places where they can only come one way. Uh, you got the top of both staircases. Both of those places, I've gone on some absolute tears with the gun. I thought it'd be good on Nuketown. It's not terrible on Nuketown, but Nuketown, you do find a lot of people jumping everywhere. Just because the way the map plays with all the war runs and everything, people do jump around a lot, so that does make it a little bit of a problem to use the Banshee. As obviously you want a map, you know, to be honest, this weapon is pretty much a camper killer. So it's good for killing someone out of the Nuketown windows, but not so much if they're running around. Anyways, Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Um, let me know what you guys have been getting out of supply drops. You know, I have I opened a few of my luck with supply drops. It's terrible though, so I did have to use my friend Kim's account. He's a legend. I let me use that. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the gameplay. If you did, drop a like. If you're new, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see from my channel in the future in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys next time. Warship on standby.